I now recognize the ranking member of the full committee, Mr. Raskin from Maryland, for five Mr. minutes. Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. And Dr. Ruiz, thank you. Thank you for your testimony. Governor Cuomo, the allegations that have been brought against you today are obviously serious. And because we on the Oversight Committee believe in accountability for all public officials, I appreciate your willingness to participate voluntarily in today's hearing uh, and to answer every question coming at you and to address what the majority is saying. But I confess, Mr. Chairman, that I'm appalled by the majority's decision to evade and bypass the central events of the epidemic for totally political reasons. The broader and authentic context for this hearing is, of course, the spectacular failure of Donald Trump's reckless and incompetent pandemic response, a failure which led to the unnecessary deaths of tens or hundreds of thousands of American citizens, according to Trump's own officials. In fact, Donald Trump's knowing and willful lies cost America um, at least tens of thousands of deaths, according to his own White House coronavirus response coordinator, Dr. Deborah Burks, who the chairman just cited as a decisive professional and medical authority. And she told the select subcommittee that more than 130,000 lives would have been saved during the Trump administration if basic and proven public health measures had been implemented instead of disregarded. On January 22nd, 2020, when America identified its first case of COVID-19, Trump stated, quote, we have it totally under control. He goes on to say, one day it's like a miracle. It will disappear. It is going away. He then proceeded to abdicate any responsibility for our pandemic response and said, quote, I don't take any responsibility at all. When he systematically failed to supply the states with critical medical equipment and PPE, he set off an interstate death match for medical supplies, telling governors simply to, quote, try getting it yourselves. I, Donald Trump said about the virus, I always wanted to play it down. Despite private, privately acknowledging that COVID-19 was deadly stuff, he deceived America, assuring everyone the virus was, quote, just a little like the regular flu. And he embraced the herd immunity theory that some of his advisors were promoting, which was, uh, again, a, a dangerous and destructive thing to do. After watching the bodies pile up outside hospitals and morgues, Trump then announced he had magical cures. He gave quack advice that hydroxychloroquine or disinfectant might be effective treatments for COVID, and he predicted the virus would, quote, like a miracle, disappear by Easter. Despite advice from Dr. Fauci, Trump touted hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin as, quote, game changers to be put in use immediately. This is the context within which we are discussing a very serious and yet uh, nonetheless, state based the detail of one policy that's being controverted. And I appreciate the fact that Governor Cuomo has appeared voluntarily to answer the questions. Where is Donald Trump to answer the questions about his horrific negligence as identified by his own COVID 19 advisor? Governor Cuomo, New York was one of the states hit first and hit hardest by the pandemic. And I'm sure you have some regrets about the decisions that were made in the federal government uh, at the state level, including in New York at the local level. But do you have any doubt that Donald Trump's lies about the virus and his deliberate failure to develop a national policy to help the states made it more difficult for New York and other states to manage their pandemic response? Congressman, I live this like few others. Uh, I have little doubt that the problem here was what happened with the federal government. They want to blame the states. They want to focus on New York. I understand why. It's a blue state, et cetera. New York was the 29th lowest in nursing home deaths. Most Republican states had many more deaths. Is that per they, capita or hard numbers you're talking about? That is, uh, that is pro rata, so per 1,000 1, uh, nursing home deaths. So state of New York, for example, is, had 70, 70 deaths per 1,000 in nursing homes in 2020. Ohio, for example, had 97 deaths. Uh, you don't see Ohio here today. 
or any of the other Republican states. It's just a diversion. What happened here, and the number that matters is, 1.2 million died more than any country on the globe. How do you explain that the United States lost more people than China? That has four times the population. And the, we know why we lost, why, we, why this happened, because the president denied it for months. The CDC had no tests. There was no PPE. And we lost three months before the president woke up and realized that there was a virus, and it was too late because the infection had spread, and you're not going to catch up. But did you have a problem with uh, then-President Trump repeatedly praising President Xi for the pandemic response in China and saying that he was doing a marvelous job? It, 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 the, the president's response was horrific, and the major cause, the vi the major cause why the virus spread and why it became out of control. The gentleman's time has expired, so I now recognize Ms. Stefanik from New York for five minutes of questions.